Hello everybody, welcome back. It's KG and Thunder 9 Gamer here. Today I'm doing a simple tutorial on tutorial on redstone and how to use it. And I just got finished building a little bit of things. I'm not going to cover everything that redstone can do, but I'm going to show you a little bit of things that I just built, and then I'm going to build. I'm going to show you how to build those things, and then I might just build do a little bit of stuff with rails and other things like that, if you know what I mean. So, let's get started. So first off, we have this. This machine looks deceiving, which I failed right here and didn't put these blocks down. This is a redstone trap. So let's say you have your door, your doors. All right. You have your doors here. This is your house. All right. Let's do it one more. Right here. These are your doors. All right. And you're PVPing on a server, and all of a sudden. Like, let's say you have stone here instead. So you got, this would be stone. You're PvPing somebody and you run into your house, jump over to these pressure plates. You, j you would miss the pressure plates, alright? And I just failed majorly again. And... Yeah, let's switch this to stone. Right here. put those pressure plates back down. So they would be hard to see, but I think somebody would obviously notice this. And you can also put like a lever inside. So you're running into your house, you miss the pressure plates, and you go into your doors, he's chasing you, and all of a sudden he runs right over the pressure plates and this happens. Suffocates. If he doesn't take all the damage from the take all the damage from the fall damage, he'll suffocate anyway. So this is a really useful thing because they're not going to be able to get out and if they disconnect then when they log back in they're just going to be suffocating to death so i think this is a really useful build um i use this i've used it on many servers to help me when pvpers get on the loose so now i guess i'll sh try to show you how to build it let's come over here where i got a little bit of space so first what the first thing you want to do is p p place down the block that you're using, alright? Leave one space. Make two more. Make another space here. And for this one, you're going to want sticky pistons. I was doing this one for the farms that I will show you the do later. Place down your sticky pistons. Alright. So then you got that this part done so far. And you can destroy these blocks. And then you dig down a certain amount. until you s feel like he'll have like about half of his hearts gone, all right? So I'm not actually going to pay attention to that. And then you then what you do is on each corner, you break four blocks. And then you pick the side the two sides that you want your pistons on. So you would do go here, you would put pistons there. Here, pistons there. All right? So then you would break two more blocks on the opposing sides. Place down your four pressure plates. So you got those locked in. Now, what you would do, go three blocks in on this side, break one block, and the piston should be right there. Alright? So then you would place your redstone down after you do the, the... I'll tell you when to place the redstone down, so just break three more blocks on this side. Same thing. One up, and the piston should be right there. Always check. And just to make it so you can crawl back there, I usually do this. So you can place the redstone and then walk to the other side, do the same thing. Okay, one more block. There we go. Now we've got a nice little tunnel here. Do the same thing over here. And we got a nice tunnel. So, the first thing you want to do is place the redstone on the sides. Coming from this side. Whoop, I actually broke the block. I didn't replace it here. Just fix that. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> I was wondering that was a little bit different there. <clears throat> so, after you place that down, run back to the other side, do the same thing. Make sure you have all this on the sides. Both of them down. Run across here. Make sure that's placed, and then you place this redstone right here. 
So now that you have that, now you place the redstone here so that the pistons will be activated. So when you step on them, they'll activate. But here's the tricky part, is how you're going to place the blocks. First of all, you want to on one side you want to do this so when they they go they can't escape but then but you need a way to get out after you place your blocks so just make a stairs or I'll just probably f end up flying up over here somewhere probably just go straight up and fly out but more of that later place original torch so I can see and then you just sneak in here like this place four blocks I usually make sure it so it would work, and then place that place that block there, and you should be good, and it should be ready to go. So now we got to get the signal set up up here. So now that you have your trap, what you want to do? Place those four blocks down. Place your pressure plates down. Now here's the part where everybody gets screwed up when they try to make a trap like this. When they go, they just do this. So when they can't figure it out, but if they want to do it with pressure plates, that when they op when they go, it'll always be open and people will know. Well, what you have you have to do is invert the signal. So break these two here. I usually break these three. Just break those three there. All right. Put one down on each side. Stone on each side and a redstone torch on each side. And now your signal is inverted, so when you step on these pressure plates, it'll shut off the redstone torches and open it up. That's called inverting the redstone, that's inverting the signal. So now you just, then you put that inside your house, and it would should, should work, so you jump in. Whoops. So it opens up, you fall in, and you're dead. Just like that. So that works nice. So that's how you would build that trap. All right, so now let's move on to this. This is an automatic farm. You can do this with any anything you want, except if you're gonna do it with melons, or if you're gonna do it with melons or pumpkins. What you're gonna have to do is uh, go stagger them. So like when you have one stem here, so the melon would drop here, and you wouldn't have a piston there, and so on. You would just do that. And if wheat, you'd have to. You wouldn't only have to replant the seeds, but you would also have to uh, hope you hoe the grass, which really sucks. But I, I mainly use these farms for melons, pumpkins, and sugarcane. As you can see, that I just built one of sugarcane because it's the easiest to build. I don't have to hoe or anything like that. Don't have to plant. So let me just put these up. So just pretend like they're ready. All right. So they're two blocks tall, and you're, you don't want to you put, just don't want to wait. So then, just come in here. Drop, so most of your sugar cane should end up falling and coming right to you. Sometimes it'll take a little bit longer, but how to fix that if you really want to is just you would go one more down so they would drop right into you, and then you just get off and just collect the remaining stuff because that's um actually it used to be not so glitchy, but now there's a few ways that you can fix that. So this one's really easy to build. I'm probably not even going to show you exactly how to build it. Or just do a simple little tutorial. So just break a certain amount of... Just break a bunch of blocks. Place your water in until it's... Until it can't go no more. So there, now it can't go no more. And it's actually better if you leave one space for your pressure plate. So when you click it after you're done, you can step forward and then collect and it'll all fall right into you. So then you have to break one block on each side, place down redstone, place it to here. So this is where you're going to have the thing. So I guess it really doesn't matter, sticky pistons will work just fine. Alright, so now we got that part. Same thing on this side. Alright, so now you got your pistons. And so you want to now you want to I guess you could really care less, but I'll just plant the sh sugar cane or reeds or whatever you want to call it. So you got that. And then you find, you just take your block, a block of stone or something like that up above so the 
it'll reach the signal of the pistons. The redstone will reach it, and then you do the same thing on this side. Get stone. Whoop. Come on, fail. Alright, there we go. So you just place the stone along the sides of the pistons. Place redstone all the way across. And when you step into your farm, it'll shoot out and you'll be able to step forward and collect your stuff. See, you get a nice lot of sugar cane here. And then you just collect your remainder. So that's basically how you build a farm. An easy automatic farm. Very simple to build. Probably one of the easier things to build. This is really, this is my favorite thing to build, is these. Just like really fun. And I just, that simple way that you can build it is just really, really fun. So that's basically all I have for you today on a simple redstone tutorial. So whenever you want to, so, but one more thing quick is, when, just remember this, whenever you have something with pistons and you want to have to try it, you want to have it so when you step on the pressure plates that the pistons are off so the thing will open up, then you just have to invert the signal simply just doing this. Place your block, make sure you have redstone coming up and place a redstone torch in the back and you can place your redstone and it will be inverted. So then if I step on this pressure plate, that will shut off. I'll use a red uh, pr uh, weighted pressure plate real quick so I can show you what I mean. See, the signal is very weak there, but here I'll just toss out this entire stack of sugarcane onto that, and that will shut down. So when I pick that back up, as you can see, the pressure plate's back on, or the redstone signal's back on. So that's how you invert the signal, and it's really easy to do. Um, just remember. Just get that in your head, right there. That's what you need to be building. There's this simple rig, and then you can place your redstone. You can place it this way, that way, this way, anywhere. Anywhere you want, you know, anything like that. You know what I mean? Place it anywhere. And that's pretty much all I have for you today um, on this redstone tutorial. Um, This has been another KGMs on 99 Gamer tutorial. I'll see you later, and see you later, guys. Bye.